Oh yeah, that's fucking cool. Touch down a bit. Down? I said touch. For that. Can I drive? I'm a farm boy, I know how to drive. I don't play video games, so I can't get the joysticks. I thought you were a farm boy, what the hell? I've never seen anybody put a set of airless tires onto a grader, and I don't think it's ever happened because Google, Google can't find it either, so. How are you doing? Not too bad, you? Derek. Kyle. Kyle. There's a fair bit of squat on these tires, like when they're, but I don't know how many PSI's on them. We're putting tires on the grader today. First time we've ever put them on a grader, and I've actually never seen anybody do it before. Like, we've had a couple customers ask, for use in like remote environment applications where there is no tire company, service company, you name it. We did a lot of homework trying to find somebody who's done it before and according to Google, I haven't, it either hasn't happened or I just haven't found it. So uh, see how this goes, but we're putting 17.5, 25s on, on the grader all the way around. It's an 872 deer, so it's like a 55,000 pound machine. So we got give or take like 9,000 pounds load per tire. This is the first time doing it, so like this is kind of a, let's test it, see how it goes. Uh, machines go 25 mile an hour, which we're not really worried about. We've done that with our backhoes, we've done that with our wheel loaders. Not really the challenge, it's just gonna be making sure we get the load capacity matched up. So uh, we're out with one of the local municipalities. This is a pretty new machine. Because there should be three lefts and three rights, so this one will work on the front, so let's grab this one first. This, this goes on the uh, other side. So are they spaced the same as the back, or did you offset the front ones? Uh, we made three lefts and three rights. Okay, so then that will go on that side, and that, that one will come on this side. It's up to you, whatever you yeah, want. No, we'll do it your way. Your okay, way you got it set up. Let's grab this and put it on then. This one? Yeah. Uh, here, I can get him to come in with the with the machine. You don't have to torque him very good. We'll. He's gonna torque him. What? That one now? Yeah, but we can take the pneumatic off on the other side with this because he's got a block under it. I was gonna tell him to grab it off with that. It's easier by hand. Is it? Oh yeah. So I just want to put the front two on, and then we'll put the low down and yep. just kind of make sure that it's kind of right. It's new, so if we fuck up, I'd rather find out now rather than later. <laughs> yep. You were due for a tire anyways. Well, I just stuck this one on because I blew the other one. Oh, yeah. And I knew the other ones were coming, or yours were coming. We'll have to do it this way. It takes longer. Mm. We'll have to do it with the skid steer. It takes longer. How'd that hub look? Do we need to wire brush it? Yeah, we should. Yeah. Touch down a bit. Down. Too many. I said a touch. It's finesse. He showed you the loader tires or what? I, I, the other spec is 20.5s for this. Yeah. That would be sweet. I would love to have the big ones. Well, and we have the 20.5s, which is what I wanted to put on. Yeah, I would have too. And then somebody said, no, go with the 17s. I was like, all right. Well, you just get a little bit more flotation when you're in that soft stuff, you know? Yeah, I'll let it down, then we'll torque it. Okay. Been around graders, but I've never operated one. Today? Any farm boy can, he's got like 10 different arms and hands, that's how you do it. At least the old school ones, the new school ones are a little bit easier. Oh, yeah. But I, I don't play video games, so I can't get the joysticks. I'll get in, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna wreck a half a million dollar grader, so I'm not gonna drive. Like we're putting on the 17.525, that's what's on it now. We also make the 20.525 that you could put on, but the customer, these guys, they wanted the 17.5, so. The 20.5 gets a little bit more like flotation on these machines. The problem is your fenders at the back are pretty tight. So moment of truth, there's a lot of weight on these machines. So total weight is 55,000 pounds. It is now. You gotta spin the label to put it at the bottom so that the tires are balanced. Oh yeah, that's fucking cool. It's gonna be a good ride. 
Yeah, they're loading. Huh? They're loading up. Yeah. Well, the back was like 25,000 pounds, but you got most of the weight on the rears, right? There's, some, there's enough there to be a damn good ride, that's for sure. Initial compression is good. Let's see what it's like when we start driving it. Here, here, look, I'll help you. I'll help you, don't worry. That's a big weld, but it's almost like a three-quarter weld, but basically it's a three-quarter weld on here, and it's perfect. It's just easier because you're not gonna lift it on there, that's the problem. That's what we got the jack for usually. Oh yeah. But I mean, we do this fun. every spring and fall. You're saying you're saying quit fucking around and get done. Yeah, let's get her fucking rolling. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, like walking. <laughs> I was gonna say you gotta fucking. I did all the hard work. I don't need you in the machine watching me. Got a machine here. <laughs> he said quit fucking around with the thing and let's get it done. I word highly, for word, I actually. I highly doubt he said that. Word for word. That's not the Kyle. That's not the Kyle I know. He said it's painful to watch you guys. That's not the Kyle cool. I know. <laughs> What's the speed rating? Uh, we're doing 25 mile an hour on these, which is what these are going, right? What's that in kilometers? Uh, 40, 45. 40 something? Yeah. Yep. Measure what the other one. Because we can put the yeah, other. I'd rather have it out farther than in. So then we should have put the other. Put it on the other side? Yeah. It's just when you're doing slopes and ditches, it's better to be wide. Hey, hey, grab, just grab the top one off and we're gonna put it on. Unless you stagger them. Yeah, on each side? Yeah. Yeah, more stability, right? Yep, more packing. Yeah. Yeah, no, the wider the better for me. That's. Well then, yeah, we should put that out because that'll be. Because then when you're doing ditches and whatever hills and it's just more stance. Okay, you gotta go. You gotta go up on that one. I let him run it, then he thinks he's in the skid steer. What's that? You, you can... <laughs> Delicate, Ricky. Yeah, it's good. It's right off the ground, so. Justin, it's not a farm equipment. You gotta put the loader oh, down. Oh, don't worry, I remember. <laughs> don't worry, I remember. It's like, I remembered and I did it anyways, just for fun. So we got a problem, we kind of messed up here. See how this one's in? So this one's in like by two inches. And then if I come and draw a line, then this one's out by two inches. So we got to take this one off, put it on the other side. And then that way he's getting your proper fender clearances for the factory spec. Okay, Justin, let's get that other tire. Come on. <laughs> so this can go to the other side then. Oh. Maybe. Yeah. It's not, it's not even not even cross threaded. That's just what we wanted. I was a little worried. <laughs> I'd say that's good. You'll have to take him down to uh, Charlie's for coffee after this. I told him about that. I told him we got a heck of a coffee place downtown. Two more to go and then go for a road test, but yeah, we're just gonna go up and down roads, gravel roads, we're gonna go try and pull some dishes, do anything that they have that they need to work for, but um, nobody's ever done it, so I'm excited and nervous at the same time. Pretty sure it's because we could do it and nobody else could. Especially of this size, like five to 10 mile an hour is pretty much anything that anybody's doing at this size class. And so, you know, we're up in that 25 mile an hour range where we can put them on a grader, put them on a loader. And that's really why it's never been done is because nobody could get there. Got it? Yeah. You have a longer three quarter inch extension? Uh, a little bit about like that. Yep. This is working, but not accurate. Close enough. The clicker is in here. You gotta make sure you only push on this part. That's what I've been pushing on. Yep. I'm just saying. I didn't say you were doing it wrong. Well, kind of, kind of insinuated like you were, Kyle. Very 
Dustin, can I drive? Sure, go right ahead. I'm a farm boy, I know how to drive. Go ahead, take it out. <laughs> I've driven everything. Do you want me to start it? No, I know how to start it. Okay, back it out. Give me my coffee though, in case you don't come back. You don't want me to get in? Yeah, no, go. Yeah, go, take it, take it. Need a little training. I thought you were a farm boy. What the hell? Oh, I am. I just want to. So these go up. Pull back. Keep pulling. With my with my finger on the trigger. What's that? With my finger on here, or just just do the whole thing. Well, what's or that what? doing? What'd you do to it? Oh yeah, no, it hits that. Don't touch that one. Push I, that one again. I already did touch yeah, it. Yeah, push it again. Now try. Pull back. I got comfy in that pretty quick. Okay, go do a mile road. Well, I could go, go have breakfast. What's interesting is like you can lean it all the way over and like the tire doesn't actually, it, it rides nice, but you guys tell me you drive it every day. I just wanted to try and put as much side load on it and lean on it and make sure that it was gonna be stable, you know? Whatever, whatever beatings you can give it, I'm in. We'll buy you lunch at the end.